Have you ever pondered over the lost Satori Codex or the indigenous mind? These are not mere relics from the past, but profound, powerful keys to the consciousness engineering traditions of the Mesoamerican indigenous ecology of mind. As the world teeters on the brink of reality's last days, these traditions bear urgent, encoded messages that may hold the answers to our current crisis. Our story begins with the indigenous survivors of ancient Toltequity, high in the mountains, far removed from our world of concepts and concrete. This is not the shamanism you may have heard of. This is a tradition that has little interest in taking on apprentices. Yet, it is vitally important that we learn from their expertise. The encounter with the dreaming and their harmonic relationship with the sun, the earth, and the fire. These indigenous people carry their own efficient tradition, not a body of beliefs or empty religious practices, but precise procedures that enable a much wider range of perception than our modern Western society allows. We speak of their encounters with dreaming, their connections to the principal powers of nature, a path devoid of books, ideas, artificial intelligence, beliefs, explanations, interpretations, or intermediaries. This is a path where the affair is entirely between the individual and what's out there. No promises, no sales pitch, no foretelling of what you will encounter. This is the arduous, lifelong path of the Toltec. Difficult, yes, but real, profound and tangible. It's a path without history or beliefs, where one must do and see for oneself, without intermediaries. Remember this, we are luminous beings, children of the sun. Irrespective of what our ego and ideas tell us, our essential truth aligns with the ancient Tula wisdom. In death as in life, we are one. The Satori Codex is a testament to this wisdom, a reinterpretation of the lives and creations of the first known poets in America. It is a delicate, careful translation from Spanish and Nahuatl, the language of the Aztecs and their neighbors, into English. It is not just a transcription, but a vibrant reimagining of beautiful flowers and songs. We sing the pictures of the books and see them widely known. We are a precious cosmic bird, making the books speak in the house of the painted books. This is the story of the lost Satori Codex and the indigenous mind, a story that invites us to shine as one, in death as in life. 